Hello, and welcome to another edition of Arizona Express. I'm your host, Amy Polpy Boone, and today we're lucky enough to have wood burning artist Alexandra Bowers on the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So, for those of us new to the subject, mm -hmm. tell us what is pyrography. So pyrography means to write with fire, that's the Latin term. Uh, in layman's words it means to wood burn. So what I do is I take a panel, I map out on the composition what I want it to look like with pencil, and then I burn that composition into the wood. So how did you get started in wood burning? Uh, it all started with a trip to Home Depot. I was with my dad. I was a sophomore at ASU. I was studying drawing. Um, and I just so happened to be in an aisle where there were soldering irons that I was looking at and an employee walked up behind me and she said, you know, you can wood burn with that. And being a drawing major and seeing that and her saying to me, you can wood burn with that, kind of a light bulb went off and I thought, oh, this is awesome. You know, this is a different media that I can still utilize when I'm studying in school and just kind of, you know, enjoy something unique. With the so well, with that instrument, I mean, how detailed can you get? with the wood burning. Yeah, so with a soldering iron, the detail that you can acquire isn't as significant as what you can do with a whole kit. So I work with a whole kit with different tool heads, different shapes, different sizes, and therefore the detail that you can acquire is much more significant and great versus working with a soldering iron. Okay, so with that kit, I mean, what types of equipment is, is in there? And um, well, I work with uh, Coalwood Electronics. They're an electronic company based out of New Jersey, and they specifically manufacture these tools for wood burners like myself. So it's pretty awesome what you can acquire and what you can achieve with the kit that I work with. Okay, so if you could give advice to someone who is interested in mm -hmm. getting into wood burning, uh, what would you tell them? Um, I would tell them something similar to what I've just told you, where uh, go to Home Depot, buy some scrap wood, it's really cheap, it's like 10 cents for a piece of wood that can be fairly large, okay. um, and buy a soldering iron, that's not that expensive as well. So you can really have the opportunity to explore the media, try it, see what you like, see what you don't like. If it's something that you want to pursue and continue uh, working with, then I would say go with the kit. Um, it's going to be a lot more of an investment, but it's definitely worth it in the end. Okay, so when we return, Alexandra will demonstrate some of her techniques. back to Arizona Express. We're here with artist Alexandra Bowers discussing the art of pyrography. So is there any type of wood suitable for wood burning or is there something that you prefer over others? Um, there is suitable wood. I work on birch which is what I have in front of me here. You can also work with bass, you can work with oak, um, you can just try different forms of, the, of wood. Um, I like birch because it's light and it's fairly soft, so it's easy for me to create marks okay. in the wood. Um, what I have right here is just a little demo of how I approach my pieces. Currently, um, all of my compositions entail uh, plants and animals that thrive here in Arizona because they thrive in the heat. 
So I'm using heat as my form of media while um, basically combining that with my subject matter so there's a correlation. Okay. So what I do is I hike, I go to different places and I gather little specimens if you will, something similar to this leaf I have here in front of me. Okay. So I'm working from with something that's live, I, I can set it in front of myself so I know kind of how I want everything to look. Um, I map out with pencil first which is what you can see here and then once I have a generalization of where I want the marks to be placed I basically use my tool right here, plugs okay. in down here it's super hot on the tip here, if you will. Yeah. And I can just show you. I'll okay. just start to slowly create some marks in here. So I find the darkest values in my composition first. I try and get those in there. And then I'll just slowly kind of build upon that. And I like okay. to use the side of the tool, which is how I'm creating the value on okay. here. Okay. So how much pressure are you using? Not a whole lot of pressure. Um, I don't want a whole lot of pressure to be on there because, okay. as you can see here, can the see tool that? Yeah, and if you can see on there, uh, the tool breaks if you have a lot of pressure as well as a lot of heat. So you want to okay. be kind of, I don't know, just aware of that as you're creating your pieces. Okay. Um, something to look at over here okay. are some of my finished pieces that I have going right now. Uh, this is a specific series I've been working on for a little bit of time. Uh -huh. These uh, panels are actually the smallest panels I've worked on thus far, and these are also birch ply as well as this. So how long did it take for you to create these? These only took a few hours, um, okay. which generally will take hours. This is an mm -hmm. arduous process. It's tedious, uh, but the outcome is pretty awesome. Okay, so well, what is one of your most memorable projects that you've worked on? Um, I did a piece for the Breadfruit. They're a Jamaican okay. restaurant in downtown Phoenix, okay. and they asked me to create a Jamaican seaport set in the 1800s. The piece is three feet by five feet, and it took over wow. 200 hours to produce for them last summer. Wow. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so where can we find your, your art? Um, Currently, I am in the Tempe Center for Art right now in their okay. group show. It all has to do with wood. Um, I'm also located right down the street from here at the Scottsdale Exhibitions Gallery off of Main Street and First. So okay. you can see the work there as well. Great. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Okay, so for more information on the intricate world of wood burning, you can contact Alexander Bowers through her website at alexanderbowersart.com. Thank you for joining us at Arizona Express. We'll see you next time.